Hello my sock universe. Well, for the my vacation where I won't be able to make daily videos, I thought I'll bridge you over with some videos that I pre-shot of my collection. Anyway, they are usually quite uh, popular anyway, so I'm uh, very happy to do so. And I want to now change for the next video to a Premier League background, so I said uh, let's pull out uh, an Italian shirt for this review. And I decided one that I recently got, uh, it's not necessarily a beauty, but it is a shirt that I really wanted to have. I'm wearing Roma, uh, that's the away from 1617, I want to say, with the last one, the Totti War. Here it is. And we look at a Roma jersey, this wonderful. <laughs> I know, many don't say it's, it's pretty. But it's the uh, third jersey from the previous season, 18-19. And I know, it's a little bit out there. It's probably the craziest Roma jersey. It's also out there because I got it in XXL because it didn't have the sponsor. And I have to say, I like this jersey a lot better with a sponsor. And why? Because if you look here, there's the city map of Rome on there, which is a feature I absolutely love. Um, I am a geo freak, so for me this is just uh, tops it all off. I mean, you can see here, if you go closer, here's the Colosseum, you have the Tiber River running through, of course. Uh, here's Piazza Navona, you know, stuff like that just makes it stand out to me. But then if you pull it a little bit back and if you just look at the pattern, there's also the Lupetto crest on there. You see here's the lower jaw of the wolf, here's the nose of the wolf, here's the stuff, I mean, here's the Lupetto. So you have it also on there, which is another feature that I find is really, really nice. I also thought that the color makes for Roma actually some sense as a third jersey, because you know, you have the red, uh, you're the giallo rossi, so this is actually your other color. I even think that, and this didn't work for every team, but here the, uh, the kind of monochromatic crest, and it's quite shiny, makes also, uh, it doesn't look out, out of place, you just replaced the yellow with some silver, and the capital line wolf always was silver, so I think this also looks alright, I think for Roma all of these look alright. I know when I wear this, I look a little bit like a hippie in it, because of the weird pattern, and since this is a white shirt, but there is just some stuff, there's just something about the loving and that I got it without sponsor makes it even more special to me. Of course there's the tag and I know I have to make a video about these tags too that will come. The back, rather plain. Uh, probably, if this was the main jersey color, it would still be an okay jersey, but uh, you know, with this little orange here, yeah, makes it just... Uh, that much crazy. The one thing I regret is that there's nothing here on the taping on the back. I think there they could have done something. Uh, also note that the crest here is, is not uh, stitched on. This is really like the player version the, and this is actually a replica version. So this is where they did that as well. Same thing goes for the swoosh making it uh, yeah, nice jersey. It is the material of those Nike Stadium jerseys actually quite heavy I have to say. Uh, but you know I don't mind that. Anyway let me know what you think about this beauty. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.